Hello, this is going to be the first of several videos explaining one example of Huffman coding. I only have 15 minutes of video, so I have to break it into pieces. The first thing is I'm going to show you what a decoding tree would look like for a Huffman uh, code. This is the decoding tree is what we are trying to create. The example we're given is that we are sending out a message, but we're only using seven different letters. The letters are Z, X, T, M, I, A, and E. We've done a CAFO uh, check of our messages, and on average, if you look at 100 letters, only three of them are Z, only three of them are X, 40 of them are E. Now, if we wanted to send that message using the same size for each of the letters, the same number of bits, the best we could do is use three bits. Three bits can contain eight different values. We have seven, so we can't possibly get below three bits. That means for 100 letters, it will take us 300 bits to send those letters across a communications line. We'd like to cut that down, make it smaller. Now I've shown here also what a node is going to look like in our tree. The left child and right child mean basically we're going to have a binary tree. The vowel is whatever letter we're representing or possibly a name we give a group of letters. It's going to be the, letter, the name of a node. And the count is going to be how many out of a hundred are in this node or in this or below this node. The goal that we're going to have is to create a tree that looks like this. This is a Hoffman tree. Now, the way to read this is if you want to, uh, for every time you go left, you're going to put a zero into the code. And every time you go right, you're going to put a one. So starting at C6, which is the root of the tree, E is represented by one. You only have to go one node and it's on the right. On the other hand, if you want to get to A, you have to go left from C6, that's zero, and right from C5, uh, so that's zero, one. If you want to get, let's say, X, you have to go zero to C5, zero to C4, that's two so far, zero to C3, that's three, zero to C1, uh, I mean C2, zero to C1, so that's one, two, three, four, plus a one. Now I think I put all those numbers in here for you to see, to represent them. And why does this save us space? Well, let's look at a typical message of 100 characters. A typical message would have 40 E's, so that would take us 40 bits. It would have 25 um, A's. So each A is two bits, it would be 50 bits. Uh, for the uh, M and uh, uh, I, it would have eight times four bits, and then so on and so on. I calculated this number, and I got 205 bits to send 100 letters versus 300 if we're not using Huff and that's a saving of 31 and, and two-thirds percent. That's pretty good. Of course, I rigged it. I made E very dominant, and that, would, that helped. But still, you can see what the possibilities are. Now, that's what we're after. My next video is going to try to set up the way to do this. So I'll see you in a few minutes.